come to Jesus. Come from all over this arena right now. Come from over. We're going to wait for every one of you. How we got to this moment in San Francisco is an amazing story. We were born in the flames of student revolution at the University of California at Berkeley. It was taking over the nation. One night, rioters came to burn down our building. Suddenly, their leader yells, pass over this one. They are good people. Pass over. Our first building, 2530 College Avenue. We are called Resurrection City. They told us no one would come to our meetings during the riots. But then they started coming and did not stop. Pauley Ballroom, the birthplace of the student revolution, now the birthplace of a new revolution. God was birthing a new movement through us. We outgrow Pauley Ballroom and fill the Berkeley Community Theater. We moved to the Oakland Theater. We saw awesome miracles here for eight years. The young woman on the left, Delma Lopez, blind since birth, received her sight in the Oakland Theater. And it kept growing. We got a routine call to do an assembly at Hollywood High School. No one was prepared for the overflow, the harvest, and the miracles that would come. On this night, a teenage girl who lost her womb in a brutal rape had her organs restored. Today, she has a beautiful family. You can see Ron Cannoli standing beside a young student whose spine was healed. Amy McPherson is a great hero of mine. For us to be in Angela's temple was humbling. And to pack it out twice on a miracle Saturday was amazing. This is Warren Rogers, who I saw in a vision being stabbed and paralyzed. By the power of God, I call him out, and his healing shakes America. His testimony goes around the world. We go national. Revival meetings hit Orlando, New York City, Portland, Oregon. A thousand souls saved in a single altar call in the Portland Coliseum. We hit small towns, Klamath Falls, Oregon, a beloved man in the city is healed of multiple sclerosis, forcing us to go from the tent to the stadium. When we went to Atlanta, we were supposed to be there four days. Instead, we stayed five weeks. Hundreds and hundreds of souls saved. Here's a man who was healed of terminal heart disease. A young boy's eyes healed in front of his mom. Young souls seeing the miracles come to Christ in Atlanta. Then we went international with 10,000 people outdoors in Adelaide, Australia, listening intently to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We were privileged to team up with Pastor Cho in Australia, and then Cape Town, South Africa, Rhema Church in Johannesburg, 18,000 in the World Trade Center in Johannesburg. God tells us, invade America's killing fields, our new target gangs, drugs, and the poor. Gang members searched before entering the Santa Ana Bowl. We are amazed that night after night they come forward and find power over hate, fear, and addiction. Here is a miracle for the ages. A gang leader in a wheelchair because of a gunshot wound stood, could walk, and came to Christ. Writer running back Napoleon Kaufman casts a demon out of a young man in San Jose where we see trophies from hell and treasures out of darkness. We saw it again and again. Here are men standing publicly confessing Christ. A woman driven by demons to cut herself is delivered. Visalia, California saw young people in record numbers coming forward flooding the Fox Theater stage to be born again. It was an astonishing sight. Here is a story that will touch your heart. This young man was shot and killed two days after he was born again. New York City, again, a school assembly turns into a massive revival. 
and school officials permit us to preach the gospel. In the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, 1,500 gang members are on the stage confessing Christ. And then we're back in San Francisco. Souls are saved at Union Square. In the Cow Palace, addicts and gang members are saved. God fills the Cow Palace Arena for the first time since Billy Graham in 1958. Thousands were saved in Impact San Francisco. It was amazing to see so many lives changed. This large exhibition hall is filled with new converts. And still, the miracle expanded till a river of humanity was saved in my hometown. I will never forget that moment and all the events that led up to it. Come from all over this arena right now. Come from over, we're gonna wait for every one of you. If you say, I'm all the way in the back, Mara, when I get there, will you still be waiting? I'll wait all night. Come, come young people, come from everywhere. Come and receive new life. Receive new life. This is nothing short of history, ladies and gentlemen. Come right now. There's already over a thousand people on their way to the front. Keep coming right now. I want him, Mario. I want him. Oh, come on, somebody better dance in this place. Keep coming to Christ. Keep coming to Christ right now. And finally, what if there was an opportunity to restore America for our children and our grandchildren? Would you take that opportunity? What America needs now is a fresh and widespread demonstration of the gospel with signs and wonders. What America needs is living proof. Come with us on this amazing adventure to bring a nation back to God.